An American patient flies to Tbilisi looking for a miracle. Like millions of others, Steve Earle has an infection that's antibiotic resistant. After 20 years of medical treatment, he and his mother, Judy, are weary. Steve appreciates the irony that he's had to leave the richest country in the world for treatment in Georgia. But phage therapy is his last hope for saving his leg. When I was 16, I was on a motorcycle, and uh, unfortunately, I rear-ended the back of a truck. Subsequently, suffered a compound fractured femur from that. And he decided that he wanted to be a sheriff. And so he became a sheriff. And he was a sheriff for 10 years. And then he had an injury on the job with his knee. And From my dog. I was a dog <laughs> and went for the sheriff's department. So are you working currently somewhere? Am I working? No, I haven't been working at all. I've been retired by the sheriff's department, yeah. Well, he was on so many meds, he wasn't able to work. Yeah. And it's just going to be a matter of getting rid of this staph infection and strengthening the leg. And my only options are in California is to take the hardware out, amputation, or be on antibiotics the rest of my life. And I choose none of the above. And that's why I'm here. Earl and his mother, Judy, arrive early at Georgia State Hospital in Tbilisi. It's a morning of routine tests to prepare for a surgery, scheduled in two days. Getting rid of a staph infection will take time. Steve knows he'll have to undergo a couple of operations over a month or two. Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Mortavia. Hi. Good Steve. How many times have you been operated on that leg? Um, I lost the first one. I lost count after 10. My mom seemed to think there have been 12. Did the gyms have that will the tormentor minds? This is my third knee replacement. Echla mesamet gaum mitzvales tviton is muhlio. Ayak. But there is a problem. Steve's new x-ray is much worse than the one he sent to Tbilisi earlier. The staph infection has eaten into his bone. Worse yet, the rod inside his leg seems unstable, and maybe the source of the infection. Phages can't do anything. The infection has gone into the bone, and it's up here, and it's also down here. So they feel that what they want to do is go in and remove the dead bone. They say all the antibiotics in the United States are not going to help bone. And if they don't get it now, it's just going to continue to grow. It's either OK news or bad news. It's never been good news. And that's hard to deal with. When it gets gangrene and I can't feel nothing and I'm crawling around on the ground, Cut it off. But until that day comes, you ain't touching it. Okay. okay. Complicated, but they're gonna do it. All right? There's no other hope. Okay? So I just have to trust the work. Yeah. Not easy. The Georgian doctors have decided to risk operating on Steve Earle's knee. They're confident phages will kill his bacteria, but they aren't so sure how the rod in his leg will affect his prognosis. This is something that is probably only happening in Georgia today. He is currently being treated with phagobioderm. It's a biodegradable polymer that is impregnated with uh, uh, bacteriophages targeted against various wound-infecting bacteria. Uh, in many cases, phagobioderm is used when, at this point at least, is used when antibiotics fail or other approaches fail. Phagobioderm will be inserted in the wound, and uh, it can be left inside the wound. Uh, there is 
Georgian technology can compete with Western science. The biodome patch and powder proves that. But the problem is getting the technology to Western markets. I have mixed feelings about this. I uh, obviously am very pleased and happy uh, that it is working and helping so many patients. And there's also a little bit of sense of frustration that there is something that can potentially benefit so much more people if it was available. Uh, than you would ever expect. They have the best nurses and the best doctors, and they are the most caring, compassionate people I've ever met in my life here in Georgia. Burns. Dr. Gorm applies liquid phages through a tube, washing out the area again and again. Mr. Shantru is Sirtulis, Gansas Groves, Aram Holod, Dara, and then at Impexia, and then at Utshos Heuli, Da Pathology or Chetulik Soilebia, Mutshos Heuli Sirpli. Da Pathology or at Chronicula Chetulik Soilebi, that substitutes Utshos Heuli reacts it. Romlevich has a very big microorganism. Romel ta kamuhuana da sada antibiotiki shechtseva aris. Yeah, I've been walking a couple days now, so yeah, getting stronger every day. You know, there's no fluid on the knee, so it's just a matter of that healing. You know, if I can get on Wednesday's flight, and hopefully we'll have further news regarding. The Western world is near the end of its antibiotic miracle. While resistance spreads and superbugs attack, industrial nations grow helpless in the shadow of multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical industries. Georgia offers real hope through its knowledge of phages. It will take at least five, maybe 10 years for phage therapies to be licensed in the West and millions of research dollars to get to market. For desperate patients like Steve Earle, the only option is a pilgrimage to Georgia for a killer virus that cures. I am happy. I fly home late tonight. They were able to treat the wound effectively with the phages, and right now the wound is sterile and the knee is sterile. There are no signs or strains of any staph. Thank you for everything. Yeah. <laughs>